Hey there, it's Jorbs. I'm making YouTube exclusive, just talking about Not Slay the Spire content, which is pretty exciting, very interesting. Um, the YouTube channel's been going very well, as I'm sure a lot of you who are watching can see. Um, getting a Slay the Spire run out every day has been pretty easy. Twitch recently made a change, which lets me edit out like bathroom breaks on their site which is incredible because it stops me from having to download the video, edit the video on my hard drive, process the video on my hard drive, and then re-upload it. So it's taking like three or four hours out of the process for me <laughs> for removing one two-hour bathroom break, which is nice. So I've been able to do that and get that going on my own, and it seems like a lot of people are enjoying it, and I'm glad. And I definitely have plans to do more Spire side chats, um, more over-explained runs, things like that, when I have time. But there are things that I am doing other than that right now which are occupying my time. And that's where you come in, because you can help me out with stuff. So, first off, I'm running a charity day today. This is not something that you have to help me out with exactly, but if you're at all interested in helping support St. Baldrix, the um, fund research grants for uh, research into curing cancer for children so hard to have money problems with that as a cause i feel um basically right as soon as i finish uploading this video i'm going to be live on twitch playing slay the spire for around six hours probably and then this evening i'm going to be playing borderlands 2 with my friends lex and jessica who are both twitch streamers themselves uh super fun people we're just going to be having a Hanging out and having a good time. Somebody's like messaging me. I don't know if that got picked up by my microphone. Whatever. <laughs> um, I'm going to have like some donation incentives. I think I will do a chat run if I get enough money. I might enable Aya on my channel if I get enough donations asking for that. We'll see. It's a, it's a chance to show up and contribute to a good cause and maybe get something fun and different from me out of doing that. Thing number two. Uh, I'm working on YouTube right now and I'm pretty happy with the like state of things as they are. Uh, reaching people, providing enjoyable content to people, uh, networking with people, all of these things are great and I don't necessarily feel like I have to have more than that. However, I am curious about like monetization strategies for YouTube, so I would really appreciate some feedback from you, the viewers. I don't particularly like the idea of running ads on my content because my content's purpose is to be watched by you and ads directly stop you from being able to do that, right? You have to sit through this ad instead of watching my video. And I just think that's sort of lame. Uh, it doesn't feel right to me. So, one suggestion that was made to me was turning on ads just at the end of videos. Apparently some people on YouTube do that, and that's like a little bit better, sure, because that way you finish watching the video and then if you want you can stick around and watch an ad or you can go watch something else. That like makes, that feels a little bit better to me. I'd also love to get my Patreon going a little bit better. I already have a Patreon set up, but it's not something I've been maintaining. Something I set up like a year and a half ago, I think. And so... I'm very curious if you have suggestions for things that you would like to get out of Patreon. Um, I know that some YouTube creators have like a $1 pledge category that's just like ad-free, um, guilt-free, ad-free or something like that. Like you don't have to feel bad about using an ad blocker on my videos or about not watching ads to support the videos. You just donate a dollar a month. Um, all sorts of other things could go on Patreon, but I'm not really sure what people would like. So give me some ideas and I'll think about it. <laughs> uh, thing number three, D&D. &D. My weekly D&D &D group with uh, Filthy Robot and Dolphin Chemist, who are two other excellent streamers. Both of them have played Slay the Spire themselves. Uh, Dolphin streams Slay the Spire every night over on Twitch and is, uh, you know, an excellent player. Uh, our 
previous D&D campaign has come to an end and we are looking for a new one, basically. So if you are interested in DMing for our weekly group, we're looking ideally for a 5th edition campaign that probably would be expected to last like between three and nine months or something like that, just vaguely. Um, if you have any interest in doing that, we usually play Mondays or Tuesdays uh, in the morning to early afternoon Pacific time. And we would love to hear a pitch from you and maybe set up like a one-off or something to see if we sort of clicked as a group. I've been playing D&D for about a year and a half now and just loving it to pieces. Um, I have a different campaign with a different group coming up in May, so if we cannot find a new campaign for this group, it's not like I'll never get to play D&D again. But I would really like to keep playing D&D with this group. It's a very, very, very fun group. Um, we hang out and have a good time and meme a lot and... Obviously, we're hardcore strategy gamers, so if you give us some really tough combats, we will rise to the occasion and really enjoy that as well. And then thing number four, uh, I did a Return of the Oprah Din playthrough on Twitch. I really enjoyed the game. The playthrough is about 12 hours long. It's not the best YouTube content, I don't think. Uh, I did it in three sessions. I'm curious how people would like me to put it on YouTube. There are people who would very much like me to put it on YouTube so that they can watch it through and not have to deal with Twitch VODs and all that stuff because those are sort of a pain. But would people be interested in me editing that into 30 minute segments and uploading them daily, like at a different time of day from the Slay the Spire videos? Would people like me to just upload the VODs unedited? Um, maybe not even like do a notification that they've been uploaded just put them there and then i can link people to them if they're interested how would you like me to do that i'm curious because i've been uh daily slay the spire content has been a thing that's been on this channel sometimes um and has been on this channel for the last you know month or so but in general, I don't have that much experience as a YouTube content creator. Um, my experience over the last couple of years has been mainly through Twitch. So if you have ideas for sensible ways to do that that you think are best, I would love to hear about them and hear about why that would work for you. And yeah, that's all I had for you. I hope you're having a great day. I hope your week is going well. I hope everything is swell. If you want to stop by with your discord and let me know how things are going and say hi i'd love to hear from you and i hope that you uh continue enjoying the slay the spire content and that whatever other stuff i end up coming up with is enjoyable for you too all right cool see you later